Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. It's a bit of a controversial topic today. I hadn't heard of these guys previous to a subscriber sending the clips in for me to react to. Just off the bat, Preach, the guy with the braids, has never been a Muslim, so he never left Islam, and this doesn't apply to him. But if he ever decided to join Islam, that would be great. We would welcome him with open arms. The other guy, Abba, if I'm not mistaken, was born Muslim and is from Ethiopian descent. Shout out to all the Muslim brothers and sisters in Ethiopia. Let's get into these clips. No, I'm not Muslim. I've been on that pussy and alcohol diet for a long you. time. I was raised in a home that tried to make me Muslim, but I was never like going to the mosque and praying. My yeah. pronouns are bacon and cheese. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Wow, alcohol, zina, bacon, massive sins in our deen. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make judgment, not me. But I will say all of this is haram in Islam and even outside of Islam studies show why these things are bad for your health. Seems like Abba's heart just wasn't in it, despite being from an Islamic family. Could this be because of the Western influences around him? I guess only he would have the answer to that. Let's check out the next clip. The position you have to get in to get milk. <laughs> the position you have to get in. If any of my homies walked into Samia, I'd be like, you didn't see nothing, bro. And I'll kill you for telling it. <laughs> like, even just saying I did it makes me like, Ugh. you get on your knees. Uh, Oh. Arch it, arch it, and then you know, she behind. It's just one of those things where that's funny. Um, I thought it was cool. I stuck for a lot, stuck for a lot, stuck for a lot. This is really shocking to me. I didn't know this was even a thing. I'm not going to talk about this in detail because I'm not comfortable speaking about such things. Again, all I can say is sodomy is haram in Islam and there are good reasons for it. And if someone has done such things and genuinely seeks forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they will be forgiven. So there's a discussion surrounding working women, girls mm. who uh, work in the bedroom professionally. Sometimes you just want to get your rocks off. You do it because it's convenient. Boom. I'd rather just pay somebody, show up, and we know what time it is. Afterwards, you go back to the hotel, we handle it. I don't care for girl desires to be. Sometimes I don't care. What's wrong if they just want to pay for it, smash, and be like, whatever. If you pay high money, these girls come correct. There's a lot of reasons why you should legalize it. Stuck for Allah, stuck for Allah again. Zina is haram in Islam. All physical relations out with Islamic marriage are. Let's add some context to this clip. Abba actually said that this is something he doesn't practice himself, but he did say he was okay with it in response to a disagreement with some other YouTubers that also promote haram relations. Again, it's not my place to judge, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do that. This channel is about keeping our children safe from being negatively influenced by dangerous ideologies. That includes misinterpretations of our own religion by people who want to use it to harm others. My intention is not to attack these guys, I don't know them and I have no issues with them. However, as Muslims, we must keep in mind that before we throw shade on others, we must remember all the sins we've committed behind closed doors and ask for forgiveness and guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In conclusion, both these gentlemen seem to be very successful and popular. Abba comes across as a strong communicator, quick-witted and has a massive influence. If he were to come back to Islam, he would definitely be an asset to us. And I hope one day he returns to the deen inshallah and if he does, I'm sure Muslims would welcome him with open arms. If any of you guys have a topic for me to react to or cover, please let me know in the comment section. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and turn on notifications as I'll be posting new content daily. Also, check out the description section for some freebies I have for you. Jazakallah.